An underage drinking sting turns into a social media debate. One Northwest Omaha restaurant owner says he had to warn others because he believes police crossed a line. A single photo sparked debate. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. It was posted Saturday. The owner saying police are not fair when they do these compliance checks. Reporter Jake Wazikowski spoke to both sides and joins us now with the story. Jake. Well, guys, when compliance checks are done at liquor stores, it's pretty much check the ID and either give them the alcohol or don't sell them the alcohol. Well, a local restaurant says that it stops their livelihood in its tracks and authorities aren't playing fair. This is, you know, typical Saturday night. Everyone wants to dine out on Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock. Salt 88, an upscale restaurant at 129th and Maple, serves up signature dishes and drinks every day. On Saturday night, owner John Hortinovich says two minors came in to buy drinks but were denied. They claimed they were waiting for someone but just took off. He then posted their pictures to social media to warn other restaurants. We want to be a partner with the community and make sure that underage drinking is not happening. However, I believe that the different agencies, whether it's State Patrol or the Omaha Police Department, should follow the guidelines that are set in front of them and be more of a partner. Hortinovich says businesses get exposed when they sell to minors, but not encouraged when they don't. And I think if the agencies were more respectable about our time, introduced themselves after the operation, actually sent the letters that they're highly recommended to do, it would be a different situation. The compliance operation netted 10 places selling to minors out of 158 businesses that were tested since July 29th. OPD says they're cited immediately if they break the law, but won't go in if a minor is denied so they won't tip off other businesses. Law enforcement and Project Extra Miles say it was alarming to see the photos posted on social media. Um, we're concerned about it. It poses again a safety risk, and I would hope that there's some response to it because it, it really did cross a line. KMTV hasn't found an agency that says they do send out follow-up letters as the LCC suggests. Officials say enforcement is the best way to make sure restaurants and bars aren't selling to minors. Horvatinovich says the caught in the act mentality should stop. I feel that they're not being as honest as possible about these sting operations and sometimes they're overstepping the guidelines that are put in front of them. Now, one official I spoke with today said that SALT could be charged with hindering government operations, but they likely won't be or probably won't be charged in this situation. Now, if you'd like to see a full list of those who sold to minors plus those who were in compliance, you can check that out on our website at KMTV.com. Reporting live from 129th and West Maple Road, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.